The reason is that we need to be able to proofread that added nucleotide. And this is only possible in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction using the materials that we have. The chemistry of the reaction requires that the orientation of synthesis be from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. The release of pyrophosphate from the incoming nucleotide and the subsequent hydrolysis of pyrophosphate to phosphate provides the energy that drives synthesis. Without this, the process stops. Overall, you want the reaction to process forward, but with high fidelity. You want it to have the proofreading capacity, but you also want it to be processive. To understand this, let's look at a comparison between 5' prime to 3' prime growth on the right and hypothetical 3' prime to 5' prime growth on the left. In both of these, pyrophosphate is released as the incoming nucleotide is added. However, on the left, pyrophosphate is released from the end of the growing chain to create the phosphodiester linkage, whereas on the right, it is released from the incoming nucleotide. So in both cases, we can drive the reaction forward. But now, let's look at the proofreading process. If an error is made, the nucleotide is removed by the 3' to 5' exonuclease activity of polymerase. The difference is that on the left, nucleoside trisphosphate is removed, and on the right, nucleoside monophosphate is removed. This leaves a 5' monophosphate on the left and a 3' hydroxyl on the right. Following removal on the left, there is no longer a triphosphate at the 5' end of the chain to release pyrophosphate and drive the formation of the phosphodiester linkage. Polymerase stalls. On the right, this is not a problem. The new incoming nucleotide brings a triphosphate group that can be hydrolyzed to drive the reaction forward. The ability of polymerase to proofread and continue adding nucleoside triphosphates doesn't work when the high energy bonds that drive synthesis are removed during proofreading and not replaced. Synthesis in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction overcomes this because each incoming nucleoside triphosphate brings with it the stored energy to add to the growing DNA strand. So the proofreading process only works in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. But is there an alternative? Can you think of a way that you could actually grow 3' prime to 5' prime instead of 5' prime to 3'? Prime? What would make it work? Could you imagine a cell where 5' prime to 3' prime and 3' prime to 5' prime synthesis were mixed? 